Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video is going to be my sheet mask empties for April 2017. I have six sheet masks to share with you as well as two other similar type products that I wanted to talk about in this empties video versus my regular April empties. If you haven't seen my April empties, I will have a link down below so you can check that out as well. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, the first thing I wanted to share with you is um, this Holica Holica Pig Nose Clear Blackhead 3 Step Kit. So this is for like a nose strip type of thing. So the first step, um, all of them are shaped like a nose strip, but the first one here was sort of like a sheet mask material that was soaked in clear, very thin, watery essence. You were supposed to leave this on your freshly cleansed nose for about 15 to 20 minutes and after I took this off, I noticed that like all of the junk that was in my pores um, really came to the surface. I was really excited. I thought this was a very promising kit. And then the second step is going to be like your traditional nose strip where you have it, you apply it to a slightly damp nose and then it dries down. It's I thought it was supposed to dry down kind of hard like a Biore strip might, but I left this on for however long you're supposed to. I think it's like another 15 to 20 minutes. And then as I peeled it off, not much came off on the strip and I still had all this gunky stuff left on my nose, which is really, really frustrating. So um, before I went in with the third step, I did clean off my nose and I went in with an, an extractor tool, which I'm sure you guys know what they look like. They're little like hook type things to so, like just squeeze everything out that had come to the surface and just take it and get it all out of my face pretty much. And then the last step was like a hydrogel material and you were supposed to let that sit on your skin for another like 15 to 20 minutes for that to absorb and it's sort of supposed to like seal the pores and keep it from collecting more gunk. So I wish that I had liked this more. Um, steps one and three were fine. They were great. I loved how um, how much gunk I could see from my nose after step one, but um, since the strip itself was ineffective to say the least, um, I don't think that I would seek these out. I would rather just find like, um, like a AHA or BHA exfoliating liquid, like the one from Polish Choice. You could always just soak a cotton pad across your nose for a few minutes to pull out all that gunk and then go in with a regular pore strip and I think that you would see the same results and you wouldn't have to buy into like these kits but I did win this I think in a giveaway so I figured I would use it up um, I just wish the pore strip was better then the other non sheet mask item that I wanted to include in here is this guy and it it is definitely packaged like a coffee cup. This is the Jeju Story Cellulose Bio Mask, and this is the Chrysanthemum one. I don't remember what this was specifically for. Um, it says reduce... Okay, I'm sorry. It says I... English. Ideal for who want to help eye repairing skin that has lost firmness, moisture, Reduce fine lines and wrinkles and restoring the soft and translucent youthful skin. Um, so if you're not familiar with uh, modeling packs, basically um, this held a spatula and then two pouches of liquid. I just have some like dried up gunk from when I did the mask. But it had a wooden spatula and it then it had a pouch of liquid and a pouch of powder and some modeling packs will just have the powder and then you mix it with water or some other liquid that you might want to use in your skincare um, but this had both parts so you mixed it all together you applied it with the spatula you let it harden it's very like rubbery looking I did post a picture on my Instagram so I'll have that link down below if you want an image of me haunting your nightmares um, but then after it dries you just remove it. It just, it just peels right off. 
Um, this was really nice. I don't think that I would purchase this in the future. I was sent this um, as a giveaway prize, I believe, and I think this retails between $5 and $8, if I'm not mistaken. So um, I really liked it. It was really nice uh, to use. My skin felt really soft and supple and hydrated and just really nice afterwards. But for the price point, I don't think that I would use these very often, maybe for a special event or... I don't know, just for a little extra bit of pampering, um, but this was really nice to use. I enjoyed it. All right, now into the sheet masks. This is just a little preview of everything that I used up in the month of April. So let me show you these two first. These are in my subscription box Blitz. Um, these are both from Shrey, and they are the Queen Bee Honey Infused Redness Soothing Acne Treating Mask and the Miss Amazing Sensitive Dry Skin Moisturizing Mask. These are pretty identical in like the material and the feeling of the essence um, and the cut of the masks. Basically, um, these masks, I'm sure you guys know what a sheet mask looks like. Um, you know, it's just, it's all one piece and they have like the little slits on the outside so you can customize your fit. Well, imagine a sheet mask like that, except there's a slit here and here um, to like better customize your fit around like your um, mouth and like your jawline. But I did not care for that. I felt like it was more trouble than it was worth um, to try and get the placement right. I found that I was really like puckering my mouth as I was trying to get this to fit right and I couldn't get my mouth to relax as I was trying to get this to fit on my face which is kind of weird but it's the truth. Um, I think I did a review on the Miss Amazing on my Instagram but not the Queen Bee. Um, the Miss Amazing was just not super wowing to me. Um, yeah it was hydrating but it wasn't anything special. I think these come five in a pack for thirty dollars which is just bananas i got these um as like one item in an ipsy bag once so i enjoyed them would i purchase them no um the queen bee did not help with redness like i thought it would um it claims to but my face was still pretty red afterwards so they were just kind of basic masks that um are way overpriced for what they're supposed to do i have masks that i love that are like two dollars two fifty three dollars um so i i don't really recommend these they're fine to use if you have them in your collection don't be afraid to use them or anything they're just fine they're not amazing then i think i've posted about this before this is the sue ae purifying black charcoal mask hydration plus moisture um this is amazing this is a mask that's around 250 i have better results with these than the shrey masks you can find these at walmart um i just enjoy these i've talked about these before so i'm not going to go through it again but very very good and then i used up my last no hj luster one pack a day healing mask pack this is a really nice sheet mask. It fits really well. It smells nice. It wears for a long time. Um, I do love the results. My skin is just brighter and hydrated and smooth and soft. And yeah, I think um, a 10 pack of these is like 20 something dollars, which is not bad, I don't think. And I would recommend them if you have them. And then my last two masks to discuss are both hydrogel masks from Leaders in Solution. Um, I think all of my Leaders masks are expiring in the next year, so I'm just trying to like use them, them up, but not too fast. I'm trying to savor them too. Um, so I have used this one before. This is the Coconut Gel Mask with Tomato. And then this is the Seven Wonders Caribbean Coconut Calming Mask. I can't remember if I used this one previously, um, but I think that both of these lines are pretty identical. The Seven Wonders and then the naturally fermented ones, the coconut gel ones, it's the same mask material to me. It comes in the same packaging, the same fit, the same feel. Um, I think they're around the same price, six or seven dollars, and I really like them. I think that these are better at six dollars than the Shrey ones are at six dollars for sure, and I don't know. I just, I like them. I'll be sad when I run out of them. 
So I think this video was kind of short and sweet. Let me know if you are enjoying sheet masks, what you're using, what you've tried recently. Yeah, I just love sheet masks and I hope that you enjoy this video series from me. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and hopefully I will catch all of you in my next video. Bye guys.